Hi programmers. So in this video, I would like to give you a simplest strategy to write test cases for your Python module. For example, we have a class called calculator, which has one constructor except two parameters A and B. And based on that one, we are performing addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And that's all. And we have to start writing the test cases. You can write the test cases using a module called PyTest. So just install PyTest and then start writing the test cases. All right. So how you can start doing that one? So you can create a file with the prefix called test underscore calculator dot py or you can create the calculator underscore test something like that. So either way will be fine, right? So for example, I'm creating this one. You can have one more that is nothing but not like this one, but calculator underscore test. Both should be fine. I'm going to run th those two files and I'll show you that uh, whether those things are working fine or not. Now, open one of the files, import pytest over here and then start, you just import that this class, which is this one, right? So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is like from calculator, import calculator. That's it, right? So here, what I'm going to do is then just pytest. It is saying that I did run. But the thing is that I have to run test cases for uh, one of the tests. Let, let, like, let's write one of the test cases for addition. So what I'm going to do is like I will write and define test addition, something like this one. So what it is doing, it is going, it is so, okay. So what it is doing, <clears throat> all right. So what we have done over here is that we created a, we created a function with a prefix test again whatever the function you are creating that that should start with the prefix called test underscore that's how the pi test will pick up oh this is the test case i'm running into i should run i would say okay so once that is there now if i run pi test over here see this is telling hey that did want did work that test calculated dot py we don't have any file uh, any test cases we don't have any test case in this file so for what i'm going to do i'm just copying this one pasting here and then instead of uh, test addition i'm going to like subtraction subtraction and subtraction like this one now if i run one more time see those two test cases did run so you can have uh, multiple uh, files with the prefix or suffix but that should be either start with test or end with test that's how the pytest will work i'm just quickly gonna uh, uh, delete one of the files i don't want to get confused to you guys so let me quickly delete that one so i have just one file now let me quickly clear each and everything run it i just got one file which is has which has just one test case ran but the thing is that as soon as you see this file, you are not sure. For example, as this code is really small, but you are not sure like how many test cases should I write, right? So what you can do is that go and add one package called pytest curve. So what is this package? This package is nothing but coverage. So it will cover all your functionality by going into the module and check how many test cases you should write you didn't get that point that's fine so you once you install that one you have to check you have to tell pytest hey go inside and tell me what test cases should i write or tell me if if something got missed or not i can clearly see that we just write test case for this one those are missed let's see let's ask pytest curve to give me a hint that what test cases should I write, right? So what you have to do is that you have to write pytest and type hyphen hyphen curve equal to calculator. So if you write like calculator, something like that. So what it does is the pytest will go to this calculator.py and checks how many test cases you should write, right? If I'm hitting this one, now you should analyze on the left hand, uh, left hand side. It will create something over here. It will create dot coverage. So it, it goes into, into this file and write some code and telling that, okay, I went inside inside the calculated.py. I got statements 12. So what is the meaning of statement? So let's see, let's count how many lines we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got 12 statements. So what are the missing one? So we it is telling, hey, we got three missing value, but you covered 75%, right? So you just need to write 25% of uh, the test cases, right? So I don't know, still I don't know three, what three you are talking about 
I still I'm confused, right? You have to tell me that what three. So you you do one you can do one thing over here. Pi test have curve equal to calculator face. You can do have curve term missing. If you generate this report, hit it, and then it will tell inside this calculator.py, you have a statement 12, which has three missing statements. You should write the test cases for, which cover 75%, but missing are those lines. Let me check what those lines, line number 10. What is the line number 10? Oh, line number 10 is this one. Oh, definitely I have to, you know, write test case for subtraction. What about line, line number 13? 13, what is this one? Oh, 13 is this one. What about 16? Oh, 13, 16 is this one. Oh, that's how I have to, you know write the test case about the remaining one okay. so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write this this command i'm gonna hit this command one more time here by clearing this one like this i'll just keep this one, one open now i'm gonna go he over here and start writing the definition test underscore uh, subtraction as soon as i wrote the subtraction which is line line number 10 this should go away and the percentage should increase right and the missing value should decrease by two let me run it now see miss now this time we have missing value uh, just two because we covered all uh, the one more test case right now the missing is 13 and 16 again if i like write over here definition test underscore multiplication and lastly definition underscore something like this one so if i run one more time which says that hey you covered all your test cases for this one which means whatever the functionality is you will be performing for testing this code entirely and completely you cover each and everything over here that's why it is, it is still 100 percent and you didn't miss single line of code but again you are very confused telling that no i wanted to see some visualization how i can see it more clearly yes you can see that one in more clear way how okay so as soon as you hit this command remember of of happen report term missing what it does is like it goes inside that coverage and then whatever the missing terms will be there it will give you that one here in the terminal but the thing is that you want to visualize it you know, there is a one good package that that is called coverage cutters just install that one now as soon as you install that one you, i'll just quickly comment this out and rerun this one so i'll show you that of these three these cases were missed it is saying that 10 13 16 which are those 10 10 13 16 one missed right now the thing is that i have to visualize it how you can do that one as soon as you install this uh, package it will give you this one no co coverage okay so if you hit this one now see analyze this code over here now here it will be changed the color now as I, as soon as i hit this one it is selling like you don't have any file over here so what you have to do you have to tell pytest whatever the calculator Whenever you are going to the calculator module and whatever the report you are generating, you generate that report inside the XML format. So you have to generate that XML format over here. As soon as you hit this XML file, it see this one, it creates an coverage.xml file. So what it tells that extension reads that coverage.xml and tells how many coverage that you have covered. Now see this one. And if I hit watch, this one i don't have anything over here on the left hand side but as soon as it's hit watch it is going to your module and telling that hey whatever the red values are there that are not covered in your test case so you should write the test cases for this particular thing now if i go back over here and just uncomment this one which is line number 13 right so we uh, we were missing line number 13 let me go back away here line number 10 and 13 line number i'm sorry line number uh, 10 and 13 that makes sense right line number 10 and 13 and 16 those were missed right so i just uncommented for uh, the line number 10 right which is subtraction now if i run one more time generate report now see this one this one go away now if i go and just uncommented this one and check see this one before running the visualization i'm just showing you this one is, is still red and that will be changed to green because we just wrote test case for that one if i hit right this one see, that is gone away now the last one as soon as i hit this one it tells that it is gone too and boom and that's how you can see all the green signal and that's how you can make sure that all the test cases uh, are written 
based on your functionality of your model and that's how you can you make sure that you are call you are building quality product quality code and everything right and that's that's pretty much it hope you like my video if you do like please do subscribe to my channel that is really very important for me it keeps me motivated and do like that button man do like please and thanks for watching see you around